Hello, today we start a new book, the book of Habakkuk, and we're doing a overview of it. Um, and it reads as follows, among the prophetic writings, Habakkuk is somewhat unique in that it includes no oracle address to Israel. It contains rather a dialogue between the prophet and God. Um, the book of Jonah, while narrative presents an account of con conflict between the Lord and one of his prophets. In the first two chapters, Habakkuk argues with God over his ways that appear to him unfathomable, if not unjust. Having received replies, he responds with a beautiful confession of faith in chapter 3. This account of wrestling with God is, however, not just a fragment from a private journal that has somehow entered the public domain. It was composed for Israel. No doubt it represented the voice of the godly in Judah struggling to comprehend the ways of God. God's answer, therefore, spoke to all who shared Habakkuk's troubled doubts, and Habakkuk's confession became a public expression as indicated by his liturgical nations. Habakkuk was perplexed that wickedness, strife, and oppression were rampant in Judah, but God seemingly did nothing. When told that the Lord was preparing to do something about it through the ruthless Babylonians, when it six, his perplexity only intensified. How could God, who is too pure to look on evil, appoint? such a nation to execute judgment on a people more righteous than themselves. God makes it clear, however, that eventually the corrupt destroyer will itself be destroyed. In the end, Habakkuk learns to rest in God's sovereign appointments and await his working in a spirit of worship. He learns to wait patiently in faith for God's kingdom to be expressed universally. Amen.